I'm Harvey Perlman, Chancellor of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. It's my pleasure to also, as part from the university, welcome all of you for being here and hope you're enjoying the conference. It's my privilege to introduce Jail, Dale Jacobson uh, to tell us a little about the World Water Council's seventh World Water Forum in Korea coming up in April. Uh, Dale and his wife, Deborah Lee, have been strong friends of this institute and of the university since its, uh, well, the institute since its founding. Dale is a principal with DD Consulting uh, of Omaha, Nebraska. He's a registered professional engineer with 44 years of engineering experience in water, wastewater, and water resources. He served as project manager or project principal for numerous significant water sector projects. Uh, many of you know he is extraordinarily active uh, both nationally and internationally in water-related organizations. He served on the Water Environment Federation, the Environmental and Water Resources Institute, the Water Environment Research Foundation, the American Academy of Environmental Engineers. Currently, he's on the Board of Governors of the World Water Council, Board of Directors of the American Academy of Water Resource Engineers, the International Council of the American Water Works Association, and numerous other uh, organizations and activities. Most importantly, he is a graduate of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's College of Engineering. It's my pleasure to introduce Dale Jacobson. Thank you, Harvey, for that most uh, generous introduction. Uh, it almost sounds like I need a day job with all those uh, volunteer jobs, too. So it's my pleasure to uh, be here today representing the World Water Council. Uh, let me begin by extending to this entire group um, the greetings from Benedicto Braga, who is the uh, president of the World Water Council. Dr. Braga had the privilege of attending this meeting uh, two years ago in, in Lincoln and providing a keynote address. And he's very well aware of the uh, quality of this organization. He asked me to uh, send his best wishes to the many people in the audience that are his friends, and he uh, wishes he could have been here. So uh, let, to begin with, let me tell you just uh, a little bit about the World Water Council. This is a uh, water policy oriented uh, organization with organizational memberships. Uh, uh, the organization is headquartered in Marseille, France, and one of its principal activities is as the sponsor or proponent of the World Water Forum. Uh, we have about 300 members in the, in the World Water Council. Uh, they range from private enterprises to UN organizations to a range of non-governmental organizations as well as academic institutions. And I'm, I'm pleased to point out, which you heard this morning when Dr. Linder presented, that the Doherty Water for Food Institute is indeed a member of the World Water Council, has been for several years, and has been very active uh, in the organization. So thank you for, for your service to uh, the council. So now let me move to the uh, the uh, processes that leading to the seventh World Water Forum. The, uh, it's really not a puzzle, but that's uh, how the slide was put together. There are four processes that, that take place um, prior to the forum and also during the forum. The first is the political process. Uh, this is a meeting of parliamentarians and, and other uh, policy uh, people. And uh, in some cases, a uh, declaration or statement will arise out of the political process. Uh, leading up to the seventh forum, one of the activities that's underway with the World Water Council is participating in the discussions and negotiations uh, at the UN level that are going to lead to the de development of the sustainable development goals. And needless to say, uh, we have a particular emphasis on water and, and uh, are hopeful that there will be a standalone SDG for water when the new goals uh, come out in 2015. The second uh, uh, element is the thematic process. Uh, this year we have selected 16 themes that will be addressed during the World Water Forum and I'm going to cover those in uh, more depth in just a moment. But they're the, the basis for the discussions. Through the years 
we've moved from uh, identifying challenges to developing solutions, and so the theme for the seventh forum in Korea is implementation. So uh, uh, you'll see that as we go through. P concurrent with the thematic process is a regional process. The, the world is divided into regions, as will be obvious, and, and each region, because of the unique characteristics, has its own process to address the themes, and, and not all 16 themes are applicable in all regions, but the regional process is a very uh, energetic process, and that's really what this meeting is, is, is about. It's so one of the meetings that contributes to the regional process. And then the science and technology process is a uh, new theme, that, or new process that's been added this year uh, as a result of the meeting being held in Korea and their strong emphasis on science and technology. And so the science and technology process is going to be a cross-cutting process between the regional process and the thematic process and, and focus on the application of science and technology to solve some of these, these problems. So those are the four processes that, that uh, we have. Now there's, there's four categories that these themes are divided into, and I'm going to go over these real briefly because we have a short uh, period of time to discuss this. 1.1 and 1.2, as you can see on the screen, relate to safe drinking water and sanitation. And these, these two tied directly to the United Nations uh, Declaration of Water as a Human Right. And so there's heavy emphasis on those. 1.3 is uh, where climate change and other risk uh, issues are, are going to be discussed. And 1.4 is, is sustainable water resources uh, and the necessary infrastructure to go with that. The, the, um, the second category is water for development and prosperity. And you'll see 2.1 there is water for food. So, that is the, uh, the very specific entry point for the Doherty Water for Food Institute and the outcomes of, of this week to enter into the World Water Forum thematic process. Um, following that, you see water and energy. I know the global conversation many times includes uh, a nexus of water, food, and energy, and, and so that discussion will be going on also. And then water and cities is where, from the perspective of perhaps the people in this room, uh, will be addressed the issue of uh, ag versus urban use of water and the relative percentages or volumes that, that go into that discussion. So those are the, that's the second uh, category. The third category is water for sustainability. And here, uh, the, some of the stuff is just a little softer. Green growth is a, is a new concept that's been added uh, this year uh, for discussion. Um, you see ecosystems and managing and restoring those. We've had some discussion on that. And water quality and then uh, implementation of in integrated water resources management. So uh, that's the third category. And then the fourth category is implementation of uh, essentially finance and government activity, governance activities that relate to the themes. So uh, financing, of course, is always an important e issue. Governance is important. Uh, transboundary waters, as, as we all know, uh, have the opportunity to uh, need some mechanisms to support those. And then maybe the most important one in that group, from my perspective, is capacity building. Uh, the last one, uh, education and capacity building, is going to be very important if we're going to uh, solve some of these water challenges. So, the obvious part of the regional process. We have the Asia Pacific is lumped together in a, in a very large region, uh, in, includes uh, a huge uh, amount of geography and a lot of ocean. Uh, Africa stands by itself. The Americas includes North America, South America, Central America, the Caribbean. So we've got quite a range of, uh, of geography, north-south, to deal with there, and then Europe. So those are the regional processes. Each one of those has a, a separate uh, string of events underway that, that's going to lead to the forum. There, there's also um, some cross-regional processes. The Arab region has chosen to uh, have a cross-regional process, uh, as has the Mediterranean uh, North Africa area. And then there's a separate uh, cross-regional 
uh, process underway for what areas that are economically water scarce. So, so now to, to frame where uh, where you fit in or where we fit in uh, in the in the process, this is just a list of some of the meetings that have been held. I, I put this up there to uh, give you a flavor of that the process kicked off last uh, December in Mexico City. Uh, the the Mexican National Water Commission hosted. Uh, a kickoff meeting in, in, uh, in December and also another meeting in, in March. Uh, we had a meeting in Quito, Ecuador in uh, January. Uh, the, the World uh, Wildlife Fund hosted, a, in, in conjunction with Coca-Cola, hosted a regional meeting in Washington, D.C. in May. Uh, the American Society of Civil Engineers hosted a, a meeting in June and, and we had a meeting in the Caribbean. And then at the bottom you see Seattle, October 2014, obviously that is this meeting. And uh, the World Water Council is very uh, pleased to uh, endorse this meeting as a, a North American regional event leading to the seventh World Water Forum. So with that, let me end with uh, my uh, save the date slide, if you will. The uh, next forum, will, the seventh, will be held April 12th to 17th, 2015, in the city of Daegu and in the province of Gyeongbuk in the Republic of Korea. Uh, this location is down the peninsula, a couple hours from Seoul, but it's very accessible by their very good transportation system, and I'd like to invite all of you to attend. With that, I have a video that's going to play next that's uh, uh, gives you a background about the forum and uh, an invitation to Korea also. So I'll, I'll play that before I conclude. How much water are you used today?
Well, I'm pleased to uh, uh, note that the uh, uh, Doherty Water for Food Institute is heavily engaged in preparing for the seventh World Water Forum. And uh, Dr. Lenton has been asked to be one of the participants on the high-level panel for water and food security. And the Institute is also engaged in a range of other activities that they will participate in at the forum. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for your time. I'll be here in the next couple of days. If any of you have any questions related to the World Water Council or the World Water Forum, please feel free to see me during a break or during one of the networking opportunities. Thank you very much.